Hi everyone, this is a review of the Google Docs or Google Drive stuff that we were doing uh, yesterday. Um, the way that I get into Google Drive is come to google.com and you can see all the uh, options up here. Well, one of them is Drive. The other one, of course, is Gmail if you want to go into your Gmail account. So let's hit Drive and I'm just going to log into a little dummy account that I created which hopefully is completely empty and it's a nice starting point brilliant so I have an empty Google Drive account what I'm gonna do is create a folder for my ICT classes and there it is now in that folder I'm going to create a subfolder so the way to do that is to right click on the folder and do new folder and I'm going to call it Year 8. So now, within my ICT folder, I do have a Year 8 folder. I'm going to go back to my ICT folder, right-click on it, and do New Folder, because I need a Year 9 folder in there as well. And in fact, I'm going to do it again for my Year 10s. Whoa. I just renamed that. That should be a... Did you see that? I renamed it. I didn't mean to do that. What I wanted to do was go new folder, not rename. Year 10. So now I've got three folders. I'm going to go into my Year 9 folder. And I'm going to... There's nothing there at the moment. I'm just going to create a folder inside my Year 9 folder. And I'm going to call it uh, Web Design. Because that's what they've been working on recently. So my Year 9 folder now has a web design folder. I'm going to go in into that. I'm now in my web design folder, which is in my Year 9 folder, which is in my ICT folder, which is in my Google Drive account. So that's the folder hierarchy. So in web design, I'm going to create a spreadsheet. And let's call it um, assignment. This is, this is where I'm going to store my assignment grades for web design. Now, in my class, I have Bradley, Bun, Mai, whoops, not Mia, Mai, uh, who else is in this class? Uh, Eric, uh, Teen, and Ashley. And one of the assignments that they've been working on recently is basic HTML. And another of the assignments that they've been working on recently is how to mess with images in a web page. Just gonna. There we go. And another of the assignments they've been doing is how to create a division within a web page. Oh, look at that. So that's kind of stretched out row one because it's quite long. If I want that all to be on one line, do you remember how to do that? If we come up here between column D and column E and just double click. In fact, let's do that for every column just so that things... Okay. I don't, know, I don't like the fact that this is a little bit narrow, so I'm going to come back up here again, click and just drag it out a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to select these three cells and center align the text. Great. Now then, Bradley, in his basic HTML, he got 8 out of 10. And as you can see, Google Spreadsheets gets a little bit confused about what 8 out of 10 means. It thinks it's a date. So what I forgot to do was say, this is a calculation. I want you to calculate 8 out of 10 for me. So I need to use the equal sign. Equals 8 out of 10. That's what we want. Bun got equals 7 out of 10. My got equals 7 out of 10. Notice that I'm pressing enter every time I finish typing. Just press enter. Eric got equals 6 out of 10. Enter. Teen got 9 out of 10. 
enter, and Ashley, who is a bit of a superstar at HTML, got 10 out of 10, enter. So really, we want these to be displayed as percentages. So what I'm going to do is select these cells, go into my little More Formats option, and I'm going to choose Percent Rounded. Brilliant. And we can do all of that with the other assignments. So I'm just going to fill this out. It'll just take me a, a minute or two. Equals 8 out of 10. Equals 5 out of 10. Equals 8 out of 10. This is all just nonsense data, by the way. Don't tell Bradley that he's not this good at ICT, or he won't be very happy, or his mum won't be happy, or somebody won't be happy. And how to create a division. Um, oh dear, what am I going to do? I'm going to select all of that, I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to click up here and paste. And it's just the same. I don't mind. And let's just select that and percent rounded. And another way to do that, by the way, just uh, while we're on this subject of formatting the way data looks, you can use the Format Painter. So select a cell that has the format you want, click on the Format Painter, and then select all the cells that you want to have the same format. And they will also have the format you want. Okay? We'll look at that again in a minute. Notice that the button is still depressed. That's a little bit confusing for me because I've finished using it. So be careful with that. We'll, we'll look at that again in a minute. Okay. Let's try and tidy this up a little bit. All the names are 18, and the titles are also 18. That's looking a bit messy. Let's do that trick again with the double click between the columns. That's better. OK. And that's better. I'm just going to drag that one out a bit. There we go. Let's give it some borders. Borders, this one. I'm just going to do all borders. Let's change the color of the text. I'm going to make it white with a black background. And let's make the color of this oh, blue. OK. I'm going to center align all my data. So just select all the data and center align. There we go. Brilliant. OK, it's looking good. Actually, I wouldn't mind having a kind of a, a header on top of this but there's no row up there. So what I can do is select row 1, select the row, right click and insert one above. And there we have it. We've got a row above. Brilliant. I'm going to take these three cells and merge them into one cell. And in this cell I'm going to type assignment grades. And I'm going to copy the format of this cell. Black background, white text, size, whatever the size is, I can't remember. So, ooh, that format is still selected. I don't like that. I'm going to deselect it, and then reselect it, and then click in here. There we go. And let's just change the color of that. OK, that's great. Now let's try and figure out um, how many of these kids, Bradley, Ben, my Eric, Tina, and Ashley, got an A in their basic HTML, and a B, and a C. So I'm going to be finding A's, B's, and C's. Whoops, and C's. Let's say that an A is anything 90 or above. So we got two of those. B's are, let's say, 80 and above. So we got one of those. And C's are anything less than 80. So we got three of those. So A, B, C, perfect. If you want to format that, you can. You can obviously add a border. Um, you could center align some of this stuff. It's entirely up to you, of course, how you want this to look. The only reason I'm doing this, I don't care how it looks, I want to make a chart. So I'm going to select all of that, and I'm going to go to the chart button. Let's do a pie chart. That's what it's going to look like. I'm going to insert it. 
and change the title. Uh, basic HTML grade distribution. That sounds professional enough. That might please the boss. And that's the new title of my little chart. And there we have it. Remember, if you want to delete your chart, you should have a little option box up here that gives you a, a chance to do a variety of different things, including delete chart. Okay. And that's it. That's an introduction to how you can use Google Spreadsheets to organize grades for your kids and create charts. Now then, another thing that we talked about yesterday was forms. So I'm going to go back to my drive and in my drive, this is the main folder. I'm going to right click on my drive. Oh, I can't even do that. Let's just go to create then. Create a folder called surveys. And now I have a surveys folder. Let's go into it and create a form. Let's just get started. So this is going to be staff survey. I've got to select a theme. Okay, whatever. Question number one. Did you enjoy the training, if that's what you want to call it? It's going to be a multiple choice question. And option one is yes. Option two is no, and option three is let me think about it. That's done, and I can add another item, which, well, I can change this later. I'm just going to go for choose from a list. Will you come again? Question type, well, is it choose from a list? I don't know. I'm going to stick with multiple choice, actually. Yes, I will. No, I won't. And of course, we this wouldn't be with complete without a let me think about it option. And that's done. So I've got two questions in my survey. I finished. I'm going to send this. And could copy this link, paste that into Edmodo, and, s and my students could access it that way. In fact, shall we do that? No, because I want you guys to see this. So I'm going to send this to your email. So should I be doing this? Because this is going to be live in YouTube. Therefore, your email addresses will be available to anybody who sees this, so I'm not going to do it that way. I am going to go through Edmodo. Control C that, open up a new tab, go to our website, Edmodo. I am Mr. Moosey, amazingly, and I'm not telling you my, my password. Um, this is going to be for my... Actually, I've set up a test group, so I'm going to send it to Tester. And it's going to be a note. And I'm just going to tell the guys, complete the survey. And here's the link. Paste, control V, paste. It should pick up the name. Yes, it does. Attach. So there's the survey link, there's the instruction. I'm sending it to my tester group, send. And that's that's it. This is what they'll see, by the way. This is what my students will see. So they can go and submit some of this stuff. And I'm just going to submit another response. It's a bit naughty. I shouldn't really do that. But I'm going to do it anyway multiple times. It is Friday, so I'm not sure who would have an issue with this on a Friday. And there you go. Okay. So I'm just going to close that. 
and I'm gonna get away from